welcome back to ISCA. Today I'm going to attempt to answer a question I get asked a lot and that's how do I go about replicating carpet uh, in scale. Now I use flocking to do it, uh, other people use different methods um, but with flocking there's different methods available as well so I'm just going to be uh, demonstrating the way I apply flocking um, and hopefully you, you'll find it of some value and follow along. So it's pretty straightforward really. Uh, what I have is some uh, contact adhesive or spray adhesive. Now you're going to need to be careful, like I've always used the Slim Craft brand uh, which I find I've never had any problems with. It doesn't leave a sticky residue, uh, the flocking goes on really nicely and just works really great for this application. Uh, but be careful, I've had some people comment uh, on my written blog on this subject uh, saying that they've had some issues um, with this kind of spray adhesive, not necessarily this brand but uh, with gluey residue. Like I said, I've had very good experience with this uh, and if you're uh, an Aussie you can pick these up at pretty much any Lincraft store and a can like this will last you a lifetime almost. Um, another thing that I have is a, a little tea strainer um, and that's to sift the flocking which I'll demonstrate in a minute uh, and just that's just so you don't get lump you know lumps or clumps in your actual flocking um, and the flocking itself now there's different colors available uh, it's really just about preference today I'll be using um, sort of a mixture uh, of animal yellow um, which is a crazy modeler set uh, which is almost like a tan color uh, and they're very economical as well. I mean, a pack like that would last you... Oh, I've never actually gone through a pack myself. So it must be at least uh, five, six, seven, eight cars that you'd get out of one application of these. Uh, they're about 12 grams, I think, of flocking there. And uh, they're only like, you know, less than $4 you can pick one of those up for. Um, and that's it. So basically what I've done here with the interior tub is I've basically masked the areas that I don't want flocking to appear on. So masking what I don't want flocking to appear on. And I've done the same with the uh, door panel. So I've just masked the areas that I want to leave in paint um, and that should suffice. Now one of the things you'll notice is I've already painted the actual um, you know, door panel in this particular case and tub with a color that sort of resembles or you know yeah, a color that resembles a flocking really because what will happen is that you will have you know some of the the paint show through so you wouldn't want it black or red unless you're intentionally going for that look so you know I normally paint uh, something similar to the color that I want to um, apply the, you know, flocking to okay now what you want to do as well is ideally do this wall away from your work area because flocking is very fine and it has a tendency to uh, just stick around like a bad smell so definitely do it away from your um, painting surfaces don't have any fresh paint hanging around because this stuff will stick now it's going to be interesting to see how we go about demonstrating this because uh, as some of you have seen this is actually my working area so I've got a little bit of paper here that I'm hoping will uh, will assist but you know all for the sake of of uh, progress and I'm sure we'll be fine so what we do now this I won't do over my bench so you'll have to forgive me but I normally whack on a glove just so I don't get a whole lot of uh, glue what I want to do is just give it a light thin coat even coat of this spray adhesive and I'll do that away from camera I normally just get my little tea strainer just put a little bit into the strainer and just gently tap Just maneuver the piece around it so you're getting the flocking on all the pieces that you need to. And then just gently just tap down on it. Excess. Have a good look around, make sure you're comfortable and happy with the way things are looking. 
three applause for me too. You know, I think that's just about done. I wonder how well you can pick that up on camera. So I'll just do the door panels now. So, uh, you know, that's just very simple quick method of um, replicating carpet in scale um, you know and I find it works really well uh, it takes just a few minutes really to to get a really nice realistic look and there's the uh, door panel as well now this is definitely something you don't want to be doing next to your uh, normal workbench though because you will have flocking <laughs> I am going to have flocking all over the place but uh, anyway I really just wanted to show you that so uh, hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah feel free to comment